all right guys wes here welcome back to the channel and today we have some pretty big updates for elden rings dlc shadow of the Erd tree so like many of you i'm eagerly awaiting any official news on elden rings dlc and while from software insists on keeping us in the dark so that way they can take us by surprise at some point in the future it seems like there are some movements being made behind the scenes to set the stage for shadow of the Erd tree and it feels like it is finally happening so the first major expansion for elden ring was announced roughly a year ago and according to a number of trusted gaming insiders it's been in development since since around the time of Elden Ring's launch back in February of 2022. Now, Shadow of the Urchery started as two separate expansions, but after a bit of development, From Software decided to full send this thing and smash it up into one gigantic experience that is believed to be roughly half the size of the entire base game, which if you played Elden Ring is insane. So while we all wait for the official trailer to drop, there's been some news and leaks that have dropped recently around the internet from some eagle-eyed members of the Elden Ring community that suggests that we are very close to a reveal and release date. We have a lot to talk about guys so check the video chapters for easy viewing and also don't forget to enter my 150,000 subscriber ps5 giveaway if you want to enter it's super easy all you have to do is subscribe to the channel comment your twitter handle tweet me proof that you're subscribed and i will be picking the winner at 150,000 subscribers best of luck and let's get into it so starting things off recently from software started quietly making changes to the elden ring steam page on the back end and since we are in the current year it was almost immediately discovered and screenshotted for the internet to see a number of new file depots were added to steam's database for Elden Ring, some of which explicitly have the phrase DLC attached to them. And if you dig into the depots, you'll actually find phrases for file names like dev debug, dev release, QA debug, and QA release. There's even one depot called PD10, which some are saying is an acronym for playable demo. So what does this all mean? The numbers, Mason, what do they mean? So while it's safe to say that there's a ton of possibilities for what this could be, but the one that I'm leaning more towards is that this is an indication that Shadow of the Earth Tree is now in the quality assessment assessment phase of the development process and is being play tested currently. Now this could potentially be for the last time prior to the DLC releasing. Another possibility is that From Software recently finished a new build of the game and are updating the Steam database to reflect that, which could be an indication that the development is moving smoothly and they're setting stage for a trailer or perhaps some gameplay footage. After looking more into the newly discovered and updated depots, some have expressed some skepticism over how excited we should all actually get due to the fact that stuff like this has been slowly popping up up in the Steam DB ever since May of last year. The earliest backend references to DLC for Elden Ring showed up over 14 months ago, so because there's some new things being added to the database doesn't necessarily mean that From Software is gearing up for a launch or a trailer drop. However, what's important about this new batch of leaks is the timing. From Software announced Shadow of the Earth Tree almost a year ago now, and we are rapidly approaching the two-year anniversary of Elden Ring's launch, so if they had news about the DLC, this would be the perfect time to drop it. Now, this update to the Steam DB also comes mere weeks after the supposed controller collaboration leaked that suggested that there would be news about Shadow of the Earth Tree released in late February, be it a trailer or release or just something. And I mean, heck, there's been some leaks that have even suggested that From Software is planning on a shadow drop for Shadow of the Earth Tree at the end of the month, but I'm not sure how much I believe these reports. Shadow of the Earth Tree is going to be one of the biggest game launches of the entire year, and if you don't believe me, just look at how much money and traffic Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty generated in its first week. Elden Ring was one of the best selling in games of 2022 and it's still being played by thousands of people every day a pretty big percentage of whom are passionately checking reddit twitter youtube every single day for some kind of update on when the expansion is coming out the elden ring community is absolutely going to show up for shadow of the earth tree no matter when it launches and i've got a hunch that this expansion is going to be a much bigger experience than most other AAA games that are releasing in 2024 that is if we actually get this game released this year now with all of the leaks we've had over the last four to five months the katakawa company given their financial reportings the publisher update that said that shadow of the earth tree's development was going smoothly we were told not to expect the dlc to happen anytime soon but it just seems like all of these breadcrumbs are leading up to something big happening soon we obviously don't know what soon means it could be sometime this month it could be on the two-year anniversary of elden ring's release it could be just sometime this year so we don't know for sure about the release date or the reveal we do know however the development is continuing and all of these breadcrumbs that we've been getting are going to lead up to something eventually whenever there's smoke there's usually fire and i'm really hoping that is indeed the case for shadow of the earth tree but i'll talk more about the release date and big reveal in just a few minutes next up i'd like to talk about something that's been debated quite a bit and that is just how much is bandai namco going to charge for shadow of the earth tree with how big it's expected to be it's going to be way bigger than most story driven game dlcs especially the ones that have been releasing nowadays but how is that going to translate to the pricing the base experience launched for 60 dollars, but the standard expected price tag 
tag on new games nowadays is that $70 price tag. So Bandai Namco is probably going to be working backwards from there whenever they end up determining how much they're going to charge for the upcoming expansion. And I'm sure From Software will have some input on how much they're asking people to pay for this expansion, but ultimately it ends up with the publisher Bandai Namco who pays the bills and will inevitably have the final say. Looking at other single player DLCs from the recent years or rather DLC slash expansions, the main two that come to mind are Phantom Liberty and Horizon Forbidden West Burning Shores DLC. Those are two paid story driven expansions slash DLC for open world games, but they have pretty wild differences in pricing. Burning Shores is currently going for $20 on the PlayStation Digital Store, while Phantom Liberty is going for $30. It's also worth mentioning that there's a kind of a big difference between a DLC and an expansion. Expansions can be reviewed as there are larger experiences. DLCs are typically on the smaller scale. And I believe Shadow of the Earth Tree is technically a DLC, but from software does their DLC in a different way than everyone else. So I'm guessing that they're going to go for that DLC naming, but it's going to have the quality of an expansion as well as how big this thing is set to be. Now, it's also safe to say that Phantom Liberty had a lot more money behind it, and it's also a more time consuming expansion. But just how much is Shadow of the Earth Tree going to have compared to that? It's obviously pretty easy to tell that Shadow of the Earth Tree is going to be a much bigger experience than something like Burning Shores. And I doubt Bandai Namco is going to charge $20 for it. Personally, with how anticipated this thing is and how much content is expected to be there, I'm guessing we're going to be asked to pay something in the $30 to $40 range. $30 is probably going to be on the lower end of the possibility spectrum, and $40 is a tad bit too high, but it's more than likely going to be somewhere in that ballpark. I'm also 100% expecting there to be some kind of collector's edition announced that comes with some physical goodies, maybe like a statue or a world map or something like that, maybe an ultimate edition that has both the expansion and the base game for Elden Ring, just something that will generate more revenue for both from software and Bandai Namco. Recent financial meetings have confirmed that Elden Ring is a huge moneymaker and everyone involved is trying to extend its life. So they're almost certainly going to have some big marketing pushes for Shadow of the Earth Tree, despite it being an expansion. But as I just said, I'm fully expecting there to be some sort of re-release for Elden Ring shortly afterwards, maybe alongside a complete edition, ultimate edition that includes the post-launch content and the base game. Maybe it's going to be like a game of the year edition. At the end of the day, though, Elden Ring remains to be one of the best-selling RPGs of all time and one of the most profitable games to come out in the last decade. From Software have knocked it out the park with this game and they've seriously raised the bar for whatever action RPG they decide to make next. Shadow of the Earth Tree is likely going to be treated with the same marketing power and hype campaign that a full standalone release would be getting and we're no doubt going to be seeing a huge jump in sales for the base Elden Ring game as well. So I'm expecting to get some sort of trailer for the DLC by the end of the month and likely a launch around the late summer for $30 to $40. We know for certain that something is going to happen later this month because there are so many leaks that suggest that something is happening very soon, whether that's during the two year anniversary of the game, or I guess rather the one year anniversary of the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC announcement. But as for the extent of that late February news, we'll just have to wait a few more weeks to know for certain. It might be a bit unfortunate that From Software is playing this thing so close to the chest, but we are coming close to the end of the waiting game, and that's really exciting. It could be that we wake up tomorrow and there's a DLC trailer. Literally every single day that passes is a day that we could be getting some sort of big news regarding Shadow of the Earth Tree by From Software, so only time will tell. It's actually pretty crazy to think about that it's been about two years since the release of Elden Ring, and we've all been waiting for the DLC announcement and reveal trailer for almost an entire year. So whatever From Software has been cooking up in the back end, I just hope it's worth the wait. And honestly, in my heart, I know that it will be. But what do you guys think about all this news? Are you excited for Shadow of the Earth Tree or has the wait kind of killed the hype for you? How much do you think Shadow of the Earth Tree will cost? And what would you be willing to spend on this expansion? With it being half the size of Elden Ring, it seems like it's a pretty big offering. So yeah, be sure to let me know what your thoughts are down below. Don't forget to enter the 150,000 subscriber giveaway. The details are in the pinned comment. Thanks again for watching everybody. This has been Wes and I will talk to you guys in the next video.